this river is a river that's been forgotten. And it's one of those hidden gems that have just been left. Esk is going to be known as the river that was lost. So we're in the town of Esk, on the banks of the beautiful Esk that runs 76 miles. It's highly protected, it's got a wealth of wildlife. Its ecosystem is just amazing and the aquatic life is just stunning, absolutely stunning. Was, not is, was. It was a gentle decline at first and then it was just total abuse. It went bang. So these readings show a really high level of phosphates, nitrates. We know this river is in a diabolical state. It's highly dangerous to human health, animals, and we're killing the whole ecosystem. Salmon are a keystone species, so therefore they are an integral part of the entire ecosystem of a river. Someone once referred to salmon as the canaries of the sea. They are an indicator of what's going on. If you lose our beloved salmon in this river, so much is going to disappear because whatever was missing for the salmon is going to miss for everybody else. So your kingfishers, your otters, your bird life, your insect life, it is all disappearing in front of our eyes. I've been fishing the Usk now for about 56 years. It's gone downhill dramatically. There used to be about a thousand salmon caught on the Usk every year, and this year we'll be lucky to hit 100. The bed of the river now is just lifeless. It is actually just dying before our eyes. It makes me very angry and very sad both at the same time. I don't know which is worse. Salmon have been running our rivers for the last 40 million years. They've been here since the dinosaurs. And suddenly, we literally in the last 50 years have put this species on the brink of complete collapse. It's just so despicable because it's due to us that this is happening. We're at the Combined Storm Outlet here in Mill Street and this is a non-permitted CSO. So it has no license to spill out sewerage, which it has been doing for many, many, many years. Can you move back out to the water? For, for about an hour and a half, just going to wash it all down here. Yeah? And that raw sewerage is just pumped into there and you can see debris from tissue paper, a bit of sanitary towels. I would see white froth on the surface. I would see sewerage coming in from pipes from the side. I would see slurry coming in from the farms directly into the brooks that we're leading into here. I've had so many people report to me sickness, they've ended up in hospital, vomiting, their children have been sick. We've had dogs that have been taken to the vets that have been on drips. We've had one dog die. How can they get away with this though? We can save this river from dying, but we have to act now. If we do something today, we may save it, but if we leave it till tomorrow, it may be too late.
unless we stand up and we show that we are not going to accept the way that our river and all rivers are used as open sewers, they won't stand a chance. And look how beautiful that is.